in a departure from conventional fiscal strategies and governmental interference. In economic affairs, commendation is extended to President Javier Mille for achieving the inaugural quarterly budget surplus in 16 years. Against the predictions of most political agrarians, the Popurium is political leader. The professional economists on television and loudmouth commentators, the specialized journalists, cops, and a good part of the Argentine establishment. I want to announce that the national public sector recorded a financial surplus of more than 275 billion pesos during the month of March, thus achieving, after almost 20 years, a financial surplus of 0.2% of GDP during the first quarter of the year. This is the first quarter with a financial since 2008, a milestone that should make us all proud as a country in particular, given the staggering inheritance we had to take on. Politicians want to spend a lot because they are the main beneficiaries of that spending. That's over with us. For us, the only task of the state is to protect the life, freedom, and property of Argentines, so that each one can be an architect of their own destiny. I want to take this opportunity to tell all those who expect the solution to come from public spending, <laughs> to all those in the world of politics and the economic establishment, who believe that these successes are temporary, and that eventually we will have to start increasing spending, I want to tell them that will never happen in our government. Because for us, inflation is theft, and fiscal deficit is the cause of inflation. Therefore, the zero deficit is not just a marketing slogan for this government, but it is a commitment with the commitment that those of us who are part of this government will give our to take this country out of the hell we have received. Thank you very much. May God bless the Argentines, and may the forces of heaven accompany us. Furthermore, one might opt to underscore the significance of state involvement in safeguarding personal liberties and property rights, lauding President Javier Malay's policies that align with the tenets of minimal governance and unfettered market democracy. Acknowledging President Javier Milei's contention that individuals should forge their own destinies, the discourse encompasses the significance of economic equilibrium and self-determination. The attainment of a budget surplus can be construed as a manifestation of values such as independence and subjectivity, empowering individuals and society at large to exert greater control over their economic destiny. President Javier Millet's critique of governmental expenditure and inflation is at the crux of his economic doctrine. I concur with President Javier Millet's assertion that inflation constitutes a form of theft and that fiscal prudence is imperative for economic stability. President Javier Millet's pledge to eradicate deficit spending signifies a pivotal corrective measure in response to years of governmental extravagance and mismanagement. President Javier Millet's vision of a government oriented towards safeguarding life, liberty, and property. Rights holds resonance for all. It is construed as a reversion to the fundamental principle of limited government and individual accountability.